My luggage is coming on the next truck. No, you are not moving back in here. Oh, yes, I am. No, you're not. Breaking news, Dorian Lord is already breaking campaign promises and she hasn't even been elected yet. David, all I did was hire you to run my campaign for mayor. In exchange for a good salary, plus room and board. Do you have any idea of the kind of day I've been having? How would I know? Okay, you expect to move back in here. You better earn your keep. Quick, three ways to destroy Vicky. Go! Oh, my. Good heavens, who is this handsome young fellow? <laughs> you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. May I say, Jack, you look awesomely handsome in your, in your tuxedo. I only agreed to wear it in exchange for tricked out rims. For my new sports car my dad's gonna buy when I'm 16. Boy, you drive a hard bargain. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, he does. I teach my kids well. Thank you. Hey, thanks for coming. What? <laughs> Vicky is a matron of honor. Can't imagine where else she'd be. <laughs> where are my nieces? Um, they're not... They're not going to make it, Todd. Uh, they're at, both at home. They're looking after their guys. Coming! <laughs> Who rang? That would be mine. You know, you promised me you were not going to abuse this. Yeah, but you made me promise to take it easy, and it's an emergency. What's wrong? We're lonely. Really lonely. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like they're out of beer. Okay, but in oh. terms of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it goes food, shelter, loves of our lives, and then beer. <laughs> Seriously, we don't like it when you and Natalie are out of sight too long. It's safer for everyone if we stay together. Yeah. Hey, you got a sec? What's up? Um, a lot, actually. There's something I, I wanted to talk to you about. And it's actually pretty involved, so if you're busy, then... I got time. Um, I hope this doesn't affect our friendship. And if it does, that's okay. You're completely entitled to your opinion. Fish you off duty? Yeah, why? Sit down and relax. Hey, boys. Anybody hungry? Want a pizza? Chris? Oliver? He's still at work. Oh, boy. What I wouldn't give to stay home with a slice. Instead of what? Watch my friend Taya throw her life away. So, are you uh, excited? God, I've been down the aisle more times than you and Dorian combined. Now this is all just for Taya's benefit. How romantic. Oh, that's my Todd. Always knows how to make a woman feel special. You. <laughs> well, I'm doing you a favor of marrying you, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the plan. Don't worry. Nothing's gonna stop you from becoming the last Mrs. Todd Manning. <laughs> Lucky go. <girl. laughs> oh, another cabana. No. Shocking. Shh, shh. You can rent the penthouse at the palace for all I care since your operation is done. Now, come uh, on. All right, so what exactly is my role again in this operation? All you have to do is show up at the ceremony during the I do's and be your sexy, charming uh -huh. self, okay? And that's enough to put the brakes on Todd and Taya. Yeah, because he will put the hurt on her. They're gonna have food at this thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, and good food, too. Good enough to make it worth watching my dad get married again. It's just weird being here supporting a guy who's trying to stop us from being together, like, how many times now? If you want to go, we can go. And have my future father-in-law blame me for you not being at his wedding? You're thinking about our future, huh? Don't try to stop me. <laughs> All right, Beth, do you mind helping her get dressed? Because we gotta get the show on the road. Oh, all right. I'm a little more excited than I let on. Let that be the last secret we have between us, all right? 
All right, see you soon, all right? Okay. Well, 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 look at you. Relaxed and devoid of all the jitters you had earlier. I guess a few hours can make a big difference, huh? Before I came back to Landview, I was... I was, um, I was involved with someone. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. No, I know, but, um, I haven't been able to tell Todd about this person, and, and really there's no, there's no way that I can. Why? Look, my point is that I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. That's, that's behind me now. I am moving on. Todd and I are cleaning the slate. With secrets hanging over your head? I'm assuming you took care of whatever was troubling you? Yeah. No, everything, everything's fine. Okay. You know what? It's so fine, I don't even need help putting this dress on. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna slip it on and uh, we're good to go. Wedding seems cozy. <laughs> Small. <laughs> you can say it, it won't offend me. Small is a good thing, if you ask me, so. I don't see Taya's family. <laughs> Taya doesn't have any family. You know perfectly well that's not true. That was. No family that matters. Why, did they have reservations about the marriage? I have no idea. If they did, it's news to me. It's not like I'd care anyway. I've got to represent the family at this farce. My mom's out of town. Bet Carlotta's glad she dodged that bullet. <laughs> you know, maybe I should get out of this. Maybe I can throw out my back or something. Oh, like anybody would buy that. You take too good care of yourself. Wait a second. Ooh, you're hot. Okay, what are you doing? You're sick. I should stay home. I should take care of you. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not gonna lie for you so you can get out of a wedding. You know, it wouldn't be so bad if I had someone to go with. Maybe I could spread the pain around. What are you up to? <laughs> <laughs>